morning. It's actually the 1st of July. This is the start of our fifth month since we left our house. So uh, now we are in Tehran. And today we're going to be uh, going around with our guide, seeing some of the sights in Tehran. So uh, that should be good. That should be good. We look forward to that. Jamie's got a new uh, uh, football shirt. What's yes. that say? It's Denmark. You can see here. Oh. Denmark and you can see it very good. Oh, oh yes. Denmark. So when people say, where are you from? You just say, look at my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, perfect. Yeah. That's it. So, uh, yeah, I'll be out and about. We'll go and see what Tehran looks like. Okay. okay, we just changed money here in Iran because at the moment the currency is in a crisis. So this is one 500 euro note is equal to 40 million Iranian rear. <laughs> a wad of money <laughs> we have to walk around with. <laughs> Sophia has the same amount of money in each hand. Okay, first sight here in Tehran will be the National Museum. This is the map of Iran, modern day Iran. It used to be called Persia and it used to incorporate Iraq, Azerbaijan, of course Iran, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. All of this used to be the uh, Persian Empire. Uh, Two and a half thousand years ago. But, uh, now it's uh, the last 100, 100 years called Iran. Iran, as we know it today, is named after the Aryan race that came up from uh, Russia and came in from the north there. Uh, that's where the modern day Iran gets its name. So, this area of the world has a very long history 9000 BC. So, here we have 7000 year old pots here. The uh, skeleton here is 4,000 years old. This contains the oldest animation in the world. It's 5,000 years old. This contains a, an animal there, a gazelle, that is uh, jumping and eating. If this was to rotate around, it would work a little bit like a cartoon. So now we're going to see some stone carvings from Persepolis. Not a place we're going, unfortunately, this time, but uh, ancient site. Uh, there's a stone here from Persepolis. You can see lotus flowers and uh, lions. It used to be in this area. And then here we have a huge stone carving taken from Persepolis. their mouth when they're talking to the king so the king can't see the teeth so there we can see the king and behind the king is the crown prince and there is a man from Afghanistan who interprets the dreams of the king and at the end here the two um, guards that are guarding the king so I'm carving and this is dated to 500 BC this is a statue missing his head of uh, Darius the ancient ruler of all of Persia here we have uh, a lion, this used to go on top of the columns, we can see in a few minutes. There's also heads that are put on top of the columns. All of these things are there from Persepolis, near Shiraz. Here we can see the columns with animals on the top. Right at the museum here, that was quite interesting to realise how old this part of the world is that all well, Europe was uh, covered in ice. In the ice age, this part of the world was fully advancing, and uh, this is where people were living. It was quite green at this, uh, you know, 5,000 years ago. This area was green, while well, Europe was very cold and too cold to live, but people could live here. Of course, now things are changing, it's getting hotter and hotter and hotter down here, and now Europe is a nice, comfortable place to live at the moment. So, uh, but thousands of years ago, this was the place where people were living. In this area here. They're in one of the greenest areas of Tehran there. Okay, we just arrived here at Milad Tower. 435 meters away up there. Milad Milad means to be born. That's how old this tower built in the last 15 years. Okay, let's go in the tower. All the way to the top. And the top floor is about 350 meters up. Okay, 
Okay, let's wait at the elevator. To the top. Okay. Here we go. Okay, 283 meters. We're not there yet. 280 meters we came up. Okay, that's so we'll do the 84 meters. Okay, let's go and see the view. Wow. That's unbelievable. Then we move to Russia. This is Ostankino Tower, 540 meters. Then we go an even higher, CN Tower, Canada, 553 meters. Wow. Then one more, Canton Tower, China, 605 meters. What? There's one even bigger still. Built in 2011, Tokyo, Japan, 634 meters. Come up to a high level again, 302 meters now. Okay, if the elevator breaks, there's 1,675 steps to get down. And the record to get up is 10 minutes. Okay, it's time to go now. Okay, that was quite interesting. Now we're at the bottom again of Milad Tower. So, it's the first time I've been so high up in the sky. I'm not in an airplane or on top of a mountain. So that was interesting. Yes. Very everybody popular wants place. to talk to and take photos of. And be on WhatsApp with yeah. them. And be like she refused them. <laughs> the queen of the tower. Yeah. <laughs> Golestan Palace. Okay, the walls here they're decorated with mirrors. This technique was developed in Iran after a large mirror they ordered from Venice got broken on a ship and instead of throwing the mirror away they decided to use it for another purpose and that's when this technique was invented and we'll see the original version in Esafan. Palace, Roger Kings. They use this part, I mean, seven, 
for the celebration yeah. of the village. So they, uh, the Shah ordered to build a throne for himself and another throne for the queen. Oh, yeah. Originally, those the original ones that now are in the treasury of the jewelry museum of the Central Bank of Iran. Decorate our living room just to sparkle it up a little bit because uh, you can see now Danish houses are boring compared to this. Presents to the king here from all different countries. He's from Germany, he's from England, all from England, 1819, Japan, China and Japan, China, England again. Yes, England has uh, given lots of gifts, I can see. Never seen a house like this before, or a palace like this. Carpet here, this is the Persian carpet. This is made in Kashan, the town we are going to tomorrow. It's got to be the most beautiful palace or building I've ever been inside. Can't imagine how many mirrors or how long it's taken just to decorate each room. I uh, can't imagine how long it would take us to clean all the mirrors if uh, it was having guests. What a place. Okay, the two towers here, they used to be the highest uh, buildings in Tehran. The clock there is donated by the English Queen to the Raja Kings. And actually here we can see these are called wind towers. We'll be seeing these in uh, Esafan, especially yachts, because these are actually not just for show, these are designed to cool down uh, the buildings as they catch the wind up in the top there and they draw cooler air into the buildings. This is money gone crazy in Iran. <laughs> Fill up with the mafia here. <laughs> 40 million of whatever it is. With Okay, so that was the end of our day here in Tehran. Good day. We started off with the Arcology Museum and then we went to the Milad Tower. That was quite good. Never been so high in a tower before. A great view of the city. We uh, finished the day in the Golestan Palace. It was an amazing place to see inside. Never seen such a beautiful decorated interior of a building with all the mirrors and uh, decoration and lamps and Amazing place really, to the King's Palace there, so yeah, three good attractions, a good uh, full day in Tehran and uh, tomorrow we're up early to go to the Uzbekistan Embassy, pick up our Uzbekistan visas and then we're off to Kashan and that should be a really interesting, beautiful place to visit, so looking forward to that. So okay, that was it for today, we'll see you tomorrow.